what's cracking folks it is I CFK Kuro here to bring you some more Total Extreme Wrestling 2013 so uh, where we last left off Roman Reigns did a swerve it was not a heel turn uh, I feel like Roman's in a much better spot as a tweener at least currently at least in this point back at this point he was um because WWE don't want to give up on him as a face. If they don't want to give up on him as a face, you don't turn him heel. You just make him. You make him a very unlikable tweener until he grows on you, which I think that's what they should have done, but they didn't. So they should have went full heel turn then, which they didn't, which is like stupid as fuck. Anyway, tonight's show we have Sin Cara facing off against Kalisto. You know, pretty serious, you know, deal. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. Uh, after Sin Cara attacked Kalisto uh, and broke up the Lucha Dragons feud. My dog better not start playing with that. Uh, on Monday Night Raw. We have Charlotte taking on Paige because we have like five women on the roster. So yeah, we have the Wyatt family, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan taking on the Usos because we have like three tag teams on the roster. We have Bubba Ray Dudley taking on Kofi Kingston in the final, uh, on the final match, the final best of three, more or less, where the Dudley boys have already lost. Devon and Bubba both took losses already, I believe. It's the final match, opportunity for the, the New Day to get a clean sweep on the Dudley Boys. And then our main event is AJ Styles versus Sheamus. Because Sheamus pinned AJ on Monday Night Raw after AJ got hit by an inadvertent spear from Roman Reigns. I'll catch you all soon. And we are back. Are you ready for this week's edition of WWE Smackdown? Let us begin. First things first, a video uh, package plays recalling the events of Monday Night Raw where Sin Cara attacked Kalisto backstage. Which leads to our opening match, which is in a match that has some good action, but not much in the way of heat. Sin Cara defeated Kalisto in 602 by a pinfall with La Mystica. Okay. And the match is over, and Kalisto is left down. Sin Cara is celebrating, but then stops and sees his opponent still on the ground. He attacks and beats him down into the canvas. Just then, Ryback runs out and forces Sin Cara to run to the back. Ryback seems very upset over this entire ordeal. Okay. But I'll keep that for him. Backstage, Ric Flair is shown where officials have just found him bloody and unconscious. The apparent victim of a sneak attack. The paramedics appear and structure him out. What has happened to Ricky the Flair Flair boat? I'm okay. In a match that has some good action, but not much in the way of heat. Paige defeated Charlotte in 608 by count out. Not count out. Uh by DQ. Uh, during the match we saw Naomi and Tamina uh, attack Paige. Which is actually a continuation. I probably should put that as a retaliation from a uh, main event that happened earlier this week, right now, where a tag team match between Team Bad and the remnants of Team Bella, uh, Brie Bella and Alicia Fox, uh, the match was interrupted by a page who uh, attacked Alicia Fox and cost Team Bad the win. So they got their revenge by attacking Paige now. So I'll just put that. Okay. Backstage, Charlotte is looking far beyond worried. She's pacing back and forth and obviously upset about her father's condition. In comes Sasha Banks. Sasha tells Charlotte that she is super sorry about what happened to her creepy old father. And if she knew who did it, she would tell her about it immediately. Rightfully, Charlotte begins to accuse Sasha of being the one to attack her father. And Sasha acts mock, offen mock offended, uh, saying that she doesn't need to hurt some old guy to get at the Divas Champ. She can do it herself 
and you can bank on that. I like I like catchphrases. I don't know why. I do know why because they're easy to remember. I was going to say they're comfy and easy to wear, but that doesn't fit. A video play typing Daniel Bryan versus The Undertaker. Career versus The Undertaker. I don't know. I mean, it's Daniel Bryan's last match, though. Can he do it? Can he overcome the odds? The Wyatt family make their entrance. Okay, I'm done. And, and about to have solid in-ring action, but not much in the way of heat. Harper and Rowan defeated the Usos in 901, and Luke Harper defeated Jay Uso by pinfall with a pile driver. But after the match, Paul Heyman comes out to announce that he has talked with the authority, and they have given his client Barack Lesnar a match at WWE Roblox against poor Luke Harper. Welcome to Suplex City. Paul Heyman struggled going off the mic. That doesn't make any sense. You know, off script. He doesn't have a script to go off of. Okay. The League of Nations have another backstage meeting. Del Rio is still furioso about his loss on Monday against Kurt Angle, which Baird refuses to apologize for. While Sheamus is all giddy about pinning AJ in his rematch night, where he is confident about a second pinfall victory over him. Rusev is just saying verbs that sound menacing in Bulgarian, and Lana is hot. Chris Jericho comes backstage and notices them acting a fool and asks what the ass clowns are doing. To which Barrett asks if he wants to join the League of Nations, being Canadian all. He says that Canada sucks and the League of Nations are a bunch of stupid idiots before he walks off. Rusev gets, mel gets, mel gets mad and yells more verbs. Mashka. The New Day makes their entrance. Turns are still looking. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to pull the trigger on it. I'm going to imply it. Alright. Minor distraction. <sighs> I wish the day were over like they are in real life in here. Well, this is from February. Which they should be more over than they are anyway. In a match that has some good action, but not much in the way of heat, Bubba Ray Dudley defeated Kofi Kingston in 1208 by pinfall using underhanded tactics. X did good ring work. Kofi looks like he'll be fine as a face, because he obviously would be. And I still can't get Xavier and Kofi having no chemistry. And I can't just edit that. It's unfortunate. Any improvements? No. After the match, the New Day complained to the ref about Bubba putting his foot on the ropes, but the ref didn't see it and can't reverse the decision. The New Day are upset, and the Dudley Boys walk up the ramp with a little momentum going for them in the close of the week to their match at WrestleMania. <laughs> no one wants Big E to change, unfortunately. AJ Styles is shown walking down a backstage hallway on the way to the ring for his upcoming match against Shamu. In about the feature great action and average heat, AJ Styles defeated Sheamus in fifteen fifty two by pinfall with a Styles Clash. Probably should have been a Cash Crusher. Can't really do a Styles Clash on Shamu. Not. AJ Styles is in the ring, grabs a mic, and he challenges Chris Jericho to a match at WrestleMania. And he gets no response immediately, so he just walks on out. Out comes Dean Bros the Amb. Dean Ambrose comes out with a mic to talk about how he was betrayed by his own brother in arms, Roman Reigns. He says that if Roman was always so willing to sell out like Seth Rollins did, he would have rather he'd done it earlier so he wouldn't have wasted all of this time trying to be his buddy. If Roman was really his brother, he wouldn't have taken that cheap shot at him. If Roman was really a brother, 
he would have waited his turn instead of ruining his WrestleMania opportunity. If Roman was really a brother, then they wouldn't be fighting this Saturday at Roblox for the number one contendership. As for that slimy Triple H, just then, Triple H comes out to the top of the ramp. He says that poor Dean was never even in the picture. He never even deserved to be near the WWE title. And that he is simply holding it till the guy comes along. And that man is certainly not Spear. Roman comes from backstage and spears Triple H. And security and road agents run out to escort him out the building, holding him back. He is absolutely wrecking ish. And Dean's doing nothing but staring in the ring. Somewhat amazed by how different Roman has become. How violent he has become. And how much not the Roman that he knew he is becoming. The end, right? Yeah, that's the end of it. Up at 23, down at 16. Man, this is bullshit. <laughs> I want to get good ratings, but I mean, unless I just spam Daniel Bryan, just everyone talk about Daniel Bryan every week. Talk about Big Mass John every week. Talk about Shamu. Talk of not Shamu, Randy Orton. You know, but hey, I mean, my pop my popularity has dropped from a B to a B minus because I started this. Like my popularity has gone down overall. It's gone up most places in the world except for the U.S. and Canada both dropped to B minus. Anyway, that's fine. As long as the industry doesn't fall apart, then I won't drop. I'm still at C plus importance around the world. If I get fired like the day before WrestleMania, wouldn't that be something? Like some bullshit. Bullshit. Morale issues. Eden not being on TV. Kevin Owens was not on this week. Was he on last week? Kevin Owens was not on. He was on Raw this week. Dolph Ziggler was on Raw this week. Scott Stanford, Booker T, I can understand. I don't need to get over it. And Ric Flair, you are injured. Anyway, next time I will talk to you guys will be at WWE Roadblock, where we will see who will be our future number one contender. As of right now, the announced matches are, in the main event, Roman Reigns against Dean Ambrose. We have Kurt Angle taking on Sheamus. We have Brock Lesnar taking on Luke Harper. We have... Two qualifying matches for the Intercontinental Championship ladder match at WrestleMania, with one of them being a rematch between Kalisto and Sin Cara, and the second one being a match between The Miz and Kevin Owens. And last but not least, we have a special treat from NXT. We have a number one contenders match for the NXT Championship between... Samoa Joe and the king of strong style Shinsuke Nakamura woo 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 are you ready cause my body is and that's all folks see ya with this series next week bye bye